eight. There we go. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, Sensei. Is this set okay? Seems okay. All right. I was going to do a standing practice. I may have to try it here because my other camera's off tonight. So uh, we'll figure something out. Anyway, ah, carryovers observations, insights, questions about last week. What the hell ever we did last week. Hello out there. Ah. Were any of you did here? You what? Get close to your mic. Say something for, for us. Say something for us. Wind us up. Get us going. Come on. Hmm. Well, Sensei, I've been looking at my arrogance. Arrogance? Arrogance. Huh. Okay. <laughs> I, I feel like um, it's my interpretation, the phrase you might remember. Let's see. How do you put it? Um, don't. Don't move on the first uh, first rush of energy. Yeah. First push. Yeah. Yeah. For, you know, you've only told me that. I don't know. Seven thousand times. Maybe it's only five hundred. I don't know. Um, but uh, I I really found uh, that what it led me to was uh, a discovery of. Fairly, um, you might call it, uh, like I kept it hidden, right? I, I knew better than to tell people that I knew they were wrong. I could patiently listen to them, but inside I was hearing them from the, from the standpoint of they're wrong, but they need to talk about what they need to talk about. And I really feel like I've been able to make a shift into, um, they're right about something, I'm also right about something, you know, and if we can, if I can really hear where they're coming from, I can get better. I can learn. I can develop myself. Um, I don't win as many arguments, which is kind of, I was brought up that, you know, if someone disagreed with you, you win the argument, that settles it. You're right, you know. Um Susan's not on the line, but she might she might be able to talk about that experience. Uh, but yeah, so it's been uh, it's really been an incredible uh, uh, a real change for me. Um, I feel much better, and and people you know people I work with um, report that I don't seem as aloof or <laughs> you know yeah okay so all right so uh, maybe first trick there is uh, in coming together with somebody uh you say you're catching it you're being pushed okay so far okay yep. and if you're pushed and of course bang bang you come back fast on them and whatever push on them, take it over or whatever, right? Because you're being pushed. So what if a little trick there is when you're meeting somebody going into such a situation that there's more of an opening, that you don't wait till you're pushing and try to deal with it. You can, but you're in the middle there. Uh, that you're a little more open, knowing there's going to be energies, uh, stuff that will help you uh, be better with them. So maybe start it a little earlier, open. Okay. Instead of the, yep. the one more click, the guy who's getting, who's starting to get pushed a bit, but he may not notice it, but then he's going to be pushed. He, he, he's, he made that one extra move and there's where he gets pushed. So let's do the other way. Let's settle back and open up and, and, get into that situation. So you're one more click lower or open to that. Is that is that kind of simple trick just to start the game going? Is that 
turn you on any. Sounds like really good advice. I'll I'll give it a shot and I'll let you know how it works. Yeah. Yeah. It's the right direction because even when I catch myself quickly, if the person I'm in conversation with is very sensitive, I have a few and they're like, wait, what, what, you know, what's that? And I'm like, no, no, that's me dealing with my own internal thing. Yeah. You know, but, but people yeah. still catch it and, you know, people who don't talk about it probably catch it too. So, yeah, yeah. I think it's, uh, it's got, there's some practice there. No, we can't, unfortunately, ex expect them to know how things work and to be proper with you or me. Okay. Uh, I know sometimes I get a lot of energy and it's just for me and me, but people near me are like, Argh! as if I'm angry at them. I'm not angry at you. I'm just getting a hell of a lot of energy. It's me and me, but uh, I've got to what, cover that better. I've got to uh, be bigger earlier with that. So it doesn't boom where they take that personal. It's not a personal attack. I know it may even sound like one or, or my energies may feel like one or, or, or something. Um, it's not. Anyway, the that. Yep, that's <sighs> it. Okay. Somebody get us going here tonight. Want to hang out a bit with that, which we call that addition sign. Uh, we're going to head that way, I hope, I think. But before we do anything, 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 come on, something. Hello, Sensei. This is Sassoon. I wanted to, can you hear me okay? Yeah, Sassoon? Yes. Hey. I wanted to thank you for the continuity work that we did uh, several weeks ago. I've been carrying that forward and that's been very helpful in the sense that I have a habit of wanting to start from scratch in situations rather than carry over everything I have. And energetically, I've been doing a better job of skip saying, instead of saying, how do I start this energetic process for this situation? It's all right, where, what do I carry forward? And that statement actually kicks in a lot. So thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, so you're saying you you think you're at your smallest? Could I say in this situation, and then you have to start all over again? Is that is that what you're saying? Yeah. Or more a situation comes up, and I say, well, I got to start my processing here instead of yeah. that. Uh, oh, what do I carry over? Just that simple statement has allowed the previous work to carry through a lot better. Yeah, what, one trick there is if we establish a better, it's all inner work, right? A better inner setup, okay? Then when something happens, hey, click, and the better one is there, hey. much quicker. Uh, you don't have to... Uh, clear the same forest <laughs> and cut down all the debris and stuff each damn time. You get kind of, hey, spiffy at it. Now, I'll ask you in training to go through the levels so you're well-versed on those first few levels to get the pattern because the patterns will just continue and continue finer and finer. Uh, but we're not saying you got to come back to weird Bobby and then da 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 da. Okay, but I'd like you to know how Bobby to Robert Tanado using my language or level one to a level two to a level three <sighs> works. If you establish a level three more, uh, if you like that form, and you establish level three. Uh, that sort of becomes potentially your norm. Not that you won't drift out of it towards a two, but it's, it's been established a bit better. So it's easy to go from a two to a three. Hey, yeah, kind of thing. Right. So it kind of fits in, I think, with your question, trick of the trade. It, it does. I yeah. want to thank you for that. It's yeah. been very helpful. Yeah. And again, for those people that might uh, also think the other way around and think, 
Why is he starting at this level again? I already know that. Uh, it's really important. You really get the flavor and double check that it's really the flavor. Okay. Yeah. Uh, see, when I walk into dojo, some, uh, uh, if I remember being in a dojo, it's been a while. Uh, some, uh, some days I sort of remember I'm a high rank. But I'm not there yet. I have to quickly go click, 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 boom, to be the proper one on the mat. Uh, it's sort of similar, isn't it? Yeah. So anyway, uh, both use the click at a time to really catch the terrain. Then you'll get faster at it. Okay. Not as an idea because you've actually gone through the terrain more than once. <laughs> Many times as part of your da-da, da-da, da-da. And that whole series can get very fast, okay? But only if you've had the experience. Then you experience through all of that very fast. You clear the decks fast to a finer level, okay? Oh, sensei covered a lot of territory. Boom, and it would be oh, sensei. Now, this is going from an old man. And he would do it on purpose. Sometimes, well, I, I, I can't get up, I can't walk, boom. And suddenly uh, you couldn't push him. Or if you're trying to push him up the stairs and he went into one of those, I'm most sensitive type. Uh, it'd be like this boulder you couldn't push. And so he played games. Uh, uh, anyway, he, he enjoyed that. It was an attention getter. Uh, it amused him and it caught our attention. What's he doing you now? Anyway, blah, blah, blah. Somebody? Something? Something? Don't say this is Justin. I, uh, hi. Uh, I've really enjoyed, um, especially in the last session or two, um, as, we had, as we had spoken about briefly, the rephrasing of these energies as nutrients in a way. Uh -huh, I like that. Um, that's been helpful for, for me anyway, but it's been a very useful language to communicate these ideas with other people who um, may not, energy is kind of vague. It's, it could be woo woo, it could be sci-fi, sci like quantum, like what are we talking about? But nutrients are pretty straightforward. Um, Friendlier really sense to them, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. Um, Let me jump in for a sec. Please. Remember, Energies, yes. Kami, yes. If you're older, L caps schmooze, yes. Nutrients, yes. La même shows, baby. Same old stuff. Yeah. What word is comfortable for you? And then as you hang with it and and open to it and allow it to be present and for lack of words, dialogue itself. Ah, you get better, better uh, sense of it. You may come up with your own word. Mm -hmm. So yes. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, that, that's exactly on point. Um, it's trying to speak at, with people using a language that they can assimilate and that they can work with. Um, and this was this has been for the times anyway, as you've said, may, it'll adapt maybe in other times. But for the times, this has been a an easy one for for myself and for others to, to yeah. be working with. And let me jump in one moment, so in case people don't know who you are, uh, he deals with the uh, general public. Could I say every day? Okay, uh, he he is part of a clinic, a healing clinic, a variety of forms of healing, I believe. Uh, anyway, so all day a variety of people are coming in. So he's finding that word uh, for the variety of normal people that come in. They're not Aikidos, they're not Tai Chi masters, uh, whatever, whatever. Uh, that That's a nice word for them. They seem to have a better feeling and sense for that word. Okay, I just wanted to establish who you were. Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> oh, well, well said. Um, and it's true that so, so it's a it's a healthcare center and there's a variety of people that come through um, from every walk of life. Um, 
you know, so it's true. They're not, they're not training on the mat and in, in, in most cases, any martial art, maybe they've never even heard of Aikido for that matter. But um, whatever they're doing with their life as a lay person, or as a skilled a trades person, as a person that's in management or government or whatever, it really spans the gamut. Here's a simple, convenient framework they can plug themselves into. It makes sense and they can apply it in a practical, experiential way on a day-to-day -day basis. As they line up to whatever situations they're stepping into, they can settle and open and get a better read on what the story is before they jump into something. Um, better line themselves up as the, the appropriate character for that story um, to make room for all the nutrients that they need to, to function well in that situation, first of all, with to the right the level of character. Yeah. Which is what we're going to cover a little bit. Uh, Excellent. And I don't want to get ahead of ourselves. So I'll, I'll, <laughs> no, fine. I'll duck out at this point. Okay. Um, uh, uh. Uh, anything? I'm going to move on here soon, but we have a minute here. Anything? Anything? Yeah, hi, Sensei. It's Dusty. I'll ask something. If that's okay. Um, Autumn told me about a quote that you said, and I'm probably paraphrasing here, but it was um, something along the lines of, uh, "Well, learning from our mistakes is is okay. It's meeting yourself, meeting the person that can solve those problems." I am not mixing the quote right now, but my question is, George Leonard talked about taking the hit as a gift. And Wait a minute, like, the hit the as a gift? As a gift. Yeah. yeah. And then your quote last week was something like, well, I understand Well, learning from mistakes is a good thing. Meeting the self that can, yourself that can solve the problem is where the world work is at. But like. Uh, hang on a second. Dust, dust, stop. Give me a second. <laughs> Give me a bump. Can you see me? Oh, I got yeah. bumped. Okay. You took the hit. Now, what's the benefit? It calls up naturally more nutrients. Ah, and suddenly, <laughs> I'm better at taking hits. Or maybe I don't feel like taking a hit. Where are you going? <laughs> but I move appropriately. So take the hit so that if you use it right, you can grow with that. Oh, since I said that in more than once in a few different forms, is that Mary up there? No, that's Kenny, okay. Uh, so go, go ahead, I'm sorry I jumped in. Well, no, I mean, just seeing you stand up and do that was all of a sudden it, it was, your response was much simpler than I thought. It was like, yeah, just, just do it, just take the hit as a gift. But I guess I'm wondering like, boom, the hit, like what's happening at that moment? The connection that the, there's something going between your, the hand and your hit, like. Your whole system is that. reacting. Now, if our system is more open, it gets to react faster. So I, I stretch it out so you can see it. I took the hit and said, okay, wait a minute. What's happening? Da 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 dee, da 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 ba boom. I, I just took the same thing and I stretched it out so you could see it. But all that's going on really fast after bit. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, I was teaching private. Uh, I could do that now and then at home, but they asked me to teach private to certain Westerners. Anyway, there was this naval captain. And uh, I don't know, I must have fell asleep or something. And uh, uh, this American naval captain uh, it was striking me. And as he was striking me, I caught him in the eye. And I felt real bad about it because he's my private student. I gave him a black eye. Dear God, he's a naval captain. Uh, so anyway, I was very apologetic. Uh, next time he came, I gave him a, a, a bunch of flowers for his wife in case she didn't think I was a mean guy beating up on her husband. And, and anyway, but dang, it can happen really fast. But uh, that's an idea, fast. 
Yeah. I got to react. And you go crazier. Uh, but sort of slow things down and see how they work. Okay. And then practice with the slower forms. And then eventually you speed it up a bit. Following a certain mm -hmm. pattern that you're using. And then you continue. And after a bit, you get fast. Okay. Tai Chi is a martial art. Yes, it's an exercise for old people in the park. Uh, but, but it's also a martial art. Even though they're practicing very slow, in a mix-up, they're very fast with it. But yet, all they do is basically practice slow, <laughs> kind of thing. I don't know if I said that well. I'm not a great Tai Chi master, but anyway. We covered, Dusty? <clears throat> yeah, perfect. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, and these simple processes, when I ask you to go, uh, I sort of mentioned this a, little bit, a couple of minutes earlier, uh, from Bobby to Robert to Nado, uh, or a, a, a one by one to a two by two to a three by three. Uh, after all, you get, oh, I know that. Uh, it's like, no, do it the other way around. Take your time and flavor it more. It's like you're a little kid and you're eating too fast, and mommy says, chew your food and taste it. So I'm just asking you to. Taste the process along the way, because you'll be human condition. You'll be too fast. And I know this. I've, I've tasted this before, Mom. I don't have to taste it now. I'll just swallow it. And I know it's really important to, to really have some depth of experience, depth of feeling, whatever you want to call that. Ah, And of course, later, yes, it is faster. But it's faster through the experience, not through the knowing about it. Okay, something like that. Okay, okay, this one here. There is a, a little problem or confusion that exists. Ah, uh, let's see, let me use an example, if I may. Ross, you're on. Matt? Give him a moment. John, Ross? Yes. Okay, uh, can I use your comment from, I believe it was last week as a reference? Sure. Okay, you were talking about getting to a better level, which is that line there, okay? And it was a nice level, right? Yeah, it was very nice. And you said, oh, oh, here, I'm a nice guy, right? Yeah, yeah, I started. Right. I pushed on you a little bit there, and I said, but who, who's the character? And you blinked a little bit on me, okay? Not saying anything's wrong, but we do have a, a confusion I'm trying to clarify. And so that was a good example. So sorry if I brought that up, pointing you out as an idiot or anything. Bear with me, okay? <laughs> That's fine. All right. We get to a better level and the qualities at that level are nicer, softer, easier, something, okay? And because we haven't distinguished the character line, that's why this is a cute diagram. There is a character line here that is often missed by people. They identify as the, ter I call that terrain, okay? At that level, terrain, nice, uh, calming, uh, uh, whatever it is. And they identify, oh, I'm the nice person, I'm the calm person, I'm the loving person, I'm the uh, whatever person, okay? And that'll get you into trouble in the bigness of creation, something, because you're missing a main piece, the character, the center, the plant, whatever you want to call this guy. Okay, are we sort of sort of okay for starts? Well, I hear what you're saying. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna to have to do something here. Let's see. Can everybody just? Settle, 
I was going to do standing, but with my other camera out, it's too much hassle. So just settle ah, as if we're easy. Ah, it's settling into a better level, whatever it may be for, for you. Okay, easy. Settle. There's a different terrain going to show up for you here. So a little bit of what am I looking for? Uh, easy the eye, easy that that one. Easy, 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 uh, easy. Approaching a terrain. Yes. I thought that was Katya. Is that you, Ross? No, it's my dog. I knew somebody was barking. I wasn't. I wasn't, I wasn't barking. <laughs> Anyway, everyone, easy, a terrain. Somebody want to throw out some examples? One word should all be that's necessary, or very short phrase here. What kind of terrain sense? What level you're at? What are the qualities there? Again, whatever. Okay. Remember, Ross hit a level that was nice. What's yours? Open mic. Some guy needs some examples. Let's say it's Bob. Uh, allow, uh, energies, nutrients of clarity in this terrain. Okay, in this terrain, feeling like you're the the clear one. Okay. Oh, I'm clear. Not yet. Not yet. That's the terrain. That's very good. You want to hang out in there and whatever, soak with it for a while, that's fine. But you don't have the whole picture yet. That's a nice terrain. Somebody, what's your terrain? You got nothing? You got under there? Come on. Easy. You've been settling. You've been opening. Ah. <sighs> Is it not calmer? Is it not quieter? Is it not nicer? Something? Hello? A supportive. One at a time now. <laughs> supportive. 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 Okay. Okay. It's a supportive terrain. Okay. Again, there'll be that tendency to... Uh, Think that train is the character. Oh, I'm the supported one, or I'm the clear one. As no, you, you, you using not yet, not yet. Let's continue with terrain. One more example: easy, settle, open. Dimensionally, we're moving into finer dimension here. That inner sense of finer, <clears throat> easy settling. I, I get a jungle very quickly. A uh, who? Rainforesty. Okay. Plants growing. Okay. Uh, so people don't get confused. Uh, that'll be some kind of life giving. It's very alive. Very what the hell they call a a rainforest jungle? It's 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 damn alive. What? Anyway. Uh, so you're not Tarzan yet, okay? That's the terrain. And when the last one, somebody easy, settle. The terrain that you're sense experiencing, sense experiencing. I still I That's right. Female? Mm -hmm. Yeah, expansive, no, expansive calm. Calm? Expansive calm. Yes, expansive calm. I didn't hear the first word. Expansive. Expansive. Of course it's expensive. It's a <laughs> it's that terrain. <laughs> yes. See, inner finer dimensions aren't inner finer smaller. Uh, it opens up into a terrain, if you would. 
or a sense of more space. Don't get carried away with that. Don't get oh, more space, more space. I'll go into that another time, but uh, definitely an inner sense of more expansion. Expansiveness, yes. Okay. Now, again, the tendency is for people to identify as the terrain. Okay, so what should we do here to make this centered character plant? That's the, that's the terrain. Who is the plant? Who are you? The plant. See, uh, to sort of overlay the uh, potted plant picture, we've settled down to a better level dirt, okay? A better level dirt. And you say, oh, I'm data. And it's like, no, 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 that's the terrain. That's a level of dirt dimensional energies that you're at. Now we shift into the center, the character, the plant. With the sense of an up, down, centered pump, who are you? With the terrain that you're on, yes, but some up and down pump. Now we're sort of, I don't know what to say, shifting our focus. I don't like that focus word, uh, but it's shifting from the terrain, yes, 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 to this line here. Who are you, the character? Who are you, the plant? <laughs> so you feel yourself. Feel yourself. Okay. Now on this one, and be prepared to play the and game. So real quick, one word, feel yourself what? This first one. You're feeling yourself plant-centered, character, what you're feeling, first feeling. Rooted. Okay, well, I'm more rooted, okay. Uh, and then again, I might go rooted, rooted, okay. Who are you? You're the rooted one. And soon we'll get to an end. So rooted, okay, better rooted. Okay, somebody? Alive. <sighs> okay, alive and? Alive and still was my terrain. Still. I'm sorry? Still was my terrain, so aliveness coming up through that stillness. Okay, there's the terrain. Now we're working you, the centered plant character. You're more alive, is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay, I'm more alive. I'm whatever, more energetic. And uh, you could even probably feel that through the body. Right. Hey, we're alive. Okay. Now there's more than just that first word that you threw out. So I add the and. So, all right. So we continue. More alive and Bob's case, it was in the land of clear. Uh, wh who's the character there, Bob? The center, the plant? Uh, calm and reflective one. Okay, calm and reflective one, okay. Calm, reflective, okay. I think he threw two out of calm and reflective, reflectively calm, it's fine. Now you experience yourself as the character calm and to some degree reflective. Okay, somebody, you got the game? So we're on our terrain, but we shift focus. I don't like that word. Uh, shift our attention from the terrain to the plant-centered character. And who are you? What are you feeling about you, the centered one, the character? More accepting. Yeah, more accepting, okay. Then say it's Molly. And I just want to say that in this moment, this character is feeling 
a total effervescence in my entire body as though yeah that's fine let's keep it short molly (laughs) keep it short (laughs) i'm just saying you know and and there's a sense of of being the terrain almost it's like Uh, okay no 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 stop i want to be clear here molly terrain is the terrain and plant is the plant yes there's a strong relationship but let's be clear because we have an unclarity between these two. So don't be too fast in talking about, oh, I'm part of this terrain because now we're going to get confused again, potentially. I'm okay. trying to clarify this confusion. I'll be okay? still. <laughs> I'll be still. Oh, I like effervescent and, and I, I like that up and down center flavor. You, you, the person, character, plant. You, the centered one. Hey, I'm effervescent. <laughs> I've seen that one before, by the way, of course. Uh-huh. Many of us have. Oh, there, here comes Molly. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bear with me. I am. Okay. Uh, and I would like to do at least three or four. Four is always a magic number. On and what else? What else? Keep the up down pump going. Uh, so, uh, Bob, you said what the what the your next two were? Clear and reflective, sensei. Clear and reflective. And let's throw another and at you. And continuing the feeling of the centered one. And sometimes a little trick there, I I think helps. I repeat uh, the, the two I had before. And what's next? Open powerful. To the powerful. Powerful. Okay. Hmm. So calm, reflective, and with some power. Okay. So good. And it's just happened a different way. It may have confused them. He'd be uh, picking up calm and it's suddenly powerful and be like, no, wait, wait, which is it or something? Uh, so there's different attributes at this level with what we're doing. I'm calm. I have a good perspective. And I'm very strong. You feel that strength. Yeah, that'll be something you can feel in the body that we're, oh, shit, I am stronger. I didn't feel like picking up weights before, but at this moment, just screwing around on yours, I, I wouldn't mind just checking a couple of dumbbells and, you know, I'm feeling stronger. Yes. Are you, any, any of you following me? Did we do enough of, 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 of those? I'll walk you through one if you got confused along the way. Ross, you following me? Sure. I think we're following. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so again, I'm just trying to clarify a confusion that when we hit the terrain, and damn, the terrain's in finer dimensions, it's nicer. Finer dimensions are nicer. Okay. Uh, They're vibing. Remember, the terrains are different levels of vibration rate. Heavy terrain, I can feel it. Next level terrain, I feel a little through the body, but it's not easy, easy. Next level of terrain, I'm not sure if I'm feeling, I have to shift here to sense feeling. Uh, Oh yeah, this is quieter, calmer, easier, yeah. Uh, So those are dimensional ever finer through the dimensions using terrain or these floors, we've called them before, floors, okay. Ah. So the difference between the character and the terrain. Now, this is kind of important that I, I would sort of like you to have some practice and feeling for it. Because come the day, which for some of us isn't that far away, where you're going to be out of here and you're going to cross over into the next. 
And because you people are pretty cool, you're going to end up in a, probably a fair level of astral plane, let's say. Okay. And in a fair level of astral plane, it is nice terrain. It vibes nice. Okay. What I often hear from folks, if I check them out, see how they're doing, is, oh, my God, there's no physical pain here where I'm at. How nice. The body doesn't hurt anymore. They're, the terrain is nice. Okay. But then they tend to get stuck there. It's nice, but they get stuck there where we should really be able to continue and continue and continue. Got a, a ways to go yet. Uh, but when they don't know, okay, this is the terrain and it's beautiful in whatever form you're picking up the beauty of the astral plane you'll be in. Who are you? Who are you? And work that for lack of words, center line. Who are you? When we get more harmony and balance between that, another form of balance, that better balance should facilitate moving past that level dimension into the next finer level dimension. We have a journey to continue. We're not finished yet on one nice astral plane. Okay, okay. not if you really want to move along. If you don't want to move along, you hit that plane after a while, you'll get bored or something will happen and you'll be born again. And then you go around, you'll be born again. And, but eventually you're going to get a little bit bored with it. Okay, tired of that. Like Jesus, isn't there something more than just returning trips? <laughs> anyway, I'm straying off too far there. Uh, but the balance of center, okay, and that terrain line and the center line, facilitate moving through into the next finer dimension that's there, okay? If you miss that part, uh, again, there'll be a tendency to be too heavily into the awareness and you'll be aware of it, but you're not quite really in a certain way there. You, you've missed something. It's hard to continue properly after a bit. So this is... Uh, uh, so this pattern is, is, is a good pattern that I hope in some way you remember, okay? You remember, because when you hit the astral plane, you want to uh, uh, utilize that if you're smart, okay? I've seen some beings hit the astral plane and, and very quickly, some months, whatever, uh, very, very quickly just develop, 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 develop. And I'm sounding like, wow, what a what a lot of development in within a, a year, our time, a year span. I don't know what it is in their time and in that plane, but uh, within I've seen some people really develop. Okay, uh, as I mentioned, Nikki happily surprised me. Is he stayed with whatever pattern he was working, and he developed, and he stayed with, and he developed because he really wanted to be, come back more advanced as an actor really wants to make the big time. So he's, he's setting it up there so he can better move in on the uh, form that he's taking. Uh, a little feeling I have about you, Autumn, that, that, that this, your more original self uh, made that call and it's, it's all unfolding for you, especially when you can re contact that inner self. We get there by easy the eye, Da -da. Anyway, it's another conversation, the self. Uh, we've mentioned it before, uh, but I have to really highlight it some night, but not tonight. Where the hell are we? I'm going to get lost here. Uh, the terrain is the terrain. The plant character, you character, are that. Okay. The balance between you at that level. And that level back to you is a balance pattern. We play with that with the center circle. We, we did it standing last month. Uh, center to the circle, as if there are energies or something em emanating. Circle is touched and it retorts back. Okay. At which time the center 
<laughs> Does a slurpee. <laughs> Sat up. Feels a bit better. Makes another call. Hey, I feel better, but I don't quite feel great yet. Greatness. Ooh, that's sent out to the circle. Circle is its partner. It goes, oh, okay. The circle is a great warehouse. Boom. Sends back one hell of a lot of nutrients. That's its job. Okay. Which the plant ah, intakes. Ah, boom. Uh, so so that, uh, how am I getting into this stuff? Why am I getting into this stuff now? Are you following anything I'm saying or did I get lost here? You better say something before I get carried away. Where are we here? Another form of balance. See, all the different forms I try to lay out are based on sort of where we are in the manifest creation and how to travel through, how to navigate the manifest. So I present different forms. Center to the circle is a cool form, okay? Uh, the cross uh, addition sign is a cool form. The one by two by three by is cool. Potted plant, really a nice one. It's cool. Uh, but we're, we're passing through the same terrain. I'm just, what to say, not coming at it from different ways, but different presentations because some of you might get a little different. Oh, Sensei told me, said you'll have your favorite, okay? But try some of the others, it's good, okay? So you have your favorite, uh, but you get a different, a different sense by trying some of the others. There's a little something in there, same terrain, but you pick up a little bit different by shifting the word from energies, coming back here, to nutrients. A lot of people go, oh, that's a bit different. We're still talking about the same stuff. Oh, it schmoos. Oh, it's cummy. Uh, but, but each sense gives you a little different, I don't know the word, flavor, perspective. We're not changing the whole diagram. We're not saying the universe works this way. No, it doesn't work not this way. No, it does not work that way. Uh, we're talking about the same manifest universe, how to move through it into finer and finer, all the while clearing the eye. So as we do uh, this one, easy the eye, to start to a second, easy the eye, a little more room, a little more settled, so that a better center lines can happen, okay? As we easy and settle, next dimension, better character terrain, finer vibe of terrain. All the while, the easy the eye is moving along with it, okay? Till eventually, it won't be I anymore, it'll be, oh, self, self, okay? And then after a bit, as you continue, that'll upgrade. Uh, Want to show finer of itself, so my words naturally change. Oh, a clearer self. Oh, a more original self, a truer self. It's just a continuation of this easy the eye, that that self. Easy, easy with that, a finer self, okay? So that's the pattern that we're using uh, to work our way from the heavier. Remember, we're in a pretty heavy level here. That's, we're upgraded eights. Easy. I mean, there's a Bobby, but there's a weird Bobby. <laughs> Can you tighter? There's an insane, totally off the wall, dangerous, lock them up immediately. Weird Bobby. Uh, easy, 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 easy. It's all here and now. Okay, so that helps. It's here and now. Here and now. Okay, it's not just an idea. Here and now includes the under half. 
Now, we've I've mentioned that before. Maybe we'll go back on it because it's very important. The under half is not known well. Okay, underworld. Oh, my God. Okay. Hell is down there. Heaven is up there. Ooh. Stay away from this. Go to that. Misunderstanding. Settling. Opening. At first, there might be some fear because they're... Uh, that's why I told you the snake story, the snake pit story. That's why I mentioned Bob, what's her name? The Spanish nun saint. Teresa of Avila Sensei. And apparently from what Bob was telling me, she was sitting and suddenly she's experiencing a sense of wild animals biting her. Oh, I've been there, done that. Mine's were snake, yours are wild animals. Hey, cool. We're kindred souls here. We all hit that level at that at that level of it. Ew, this is horrible. It's biting me. Easy. Settle. Have the guts to stay with it and open and settle some more. Ah, it'll just get finer. And continue. It'll just get finer. And we can uh, uh, more effortlessly move through the heaviness of manifest to the finer, and then they'll be even much, much better, which will hold off right now. I don't want to get your head too far ahead of yourself there. But following that pattern, so once you get a good pattern, follow it. Try some of the others. Okay. All right. Um, Where the hell am I? I don't know. Say something. Did I say anything intelligent? Anything you can well, do? Say who? That, uh, you know, you were talking about the different approaches that um, that's akin to different languages, right? So um, the potted plant or the one by two by three by or the different kind of vehicles are, are like talking about something in Spanish or something in English sounds different. Some languages are better for certain particular conversation <clears throat> and be careful of certain traps i don't know if i want to get into this so. oh they must understand because they have a word for it oh you do too mm -hmm. just no one's introduced you to it oh the great spirit oh you mean nutrients shit man i know what you're talking about <laughs> Something like that. It's, I, I, what I'm trying to say is I don't want you to bulk with somebody else's fancy word or some other culture's word because you don't quite catch it. One reason I didn't go heavy into the Japanese, or at all, basically, into the Japanese. Uh, you say, oh, they understand. I don't. I'm a Westerner. I don't understand. I'll never make it. I didn't want you all to go there. So from the get-go, we tried to use more English words. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, I was thinking more like, uh, you know, the Eskimos have more words for snow than we do. <laughs> yeah. Poor guys. I don't worry about that. I live in California. Here. Anyway, uh, hello out there in the world. Where are we? Does that do you anything? A little hopeful clarification on enjoy the terrain. But don't forget to feel yourself with a few different and, uh, and, okay. Uh, Sensei, Bob here, one thing about separating clearly, distinctly the experience of the character and the terrain, when I'm the character clearly, then I can begin to actually experience absorbing the nutrients from the terrain into myself, and that begins the process of change but actually experiencing the nutrients coming into me. Yeah. So then you sort of overlay the potted plant format, if you will. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So you can uh, uh, mix and match to your benefit. <laughs> so on this beautiful train and uh, I'm experiencing this and this and this and that and, and, okay, now all of that is really feeding into me here, here, 
And now we can move into the next beats of it. Yeah. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, something in there slipped by me. Hello out there. Where the hell are we? Are you following me? Is that was that sort of semi clear? I I I would agree with what Bob just Steve here, uh, what Bob just said, and, and and what I find so useful is that they don't seem like, even though terrain is terrain, and character or center is center, there is a relationship, and the relationship is is really experienced how the, how they. They, there is an interplay between the two. Yeah. And that's again where I like to overlay the potted plant because that one can show that interrelationship, that relationship a little bit better, I, I think, at the moment. Because the plant says, hey, I'm not feeling well or whatever, I need help. The pot soil circle, the great warehouse says, oh, okay. And by law, it has to feed back. I like to take it from the roots because my plant is hopefully open rooted. The nutrients come deeper and I like to slurpy them up the plant. Really intake them. Not an idea. I, 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 I pump the pump. Really something. Uh, don't mind me. I go into my heavy duty warrior crazy guy here. Hey, da. Anyway, uh, so that gives me a little better flavor for what you were talking about by doing the potted plant format. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I might not pick up with the terrain and who am I and who am I. There'll be some, but it won't be as clear for me as the potted plant format of really eating up those nutrients as the plant would do and grow bigger, stronger, prettier longer lasting, whatever. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, cover. Uh, how are we doing? How are we doing? Sensei, it's Justin. I, I would like to say, um, just to, to build on what we're talking about here, that it, it seems like as we settle and open to finer levels, uh, we become more available for the nutrients that are in the terrain around us, um, we become more available and we can then absorb and utilize more of what's there. Yeah. So okay. The availability for me becomes a factor or question. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you just said something important. Let me, let me get my map right. <laughs> uh, okay. Say at Bobby's level. Okay. And he says, help. But I won't suddenly on that first beat suddenly be the greatest guy in the state or the country. But I piece at a time here, get the flavor of it. Uh, so you've got your center calling out to the circle, your circle responding back, center improving a bit, checking himself out, himself, herself, whatever and say, hey, and that's next. And that beat continues. And to move along dimensionally there by continuing to easy the eye, settle and open. So on that form, the form that we're talking about right now, you settle into a finer dimension and you continue that beat, but in a finer dimension, uh, your call-offs are a little bit better, and the retort from the warehouse is a bit better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got to be more fast that, hey, here I am, kind of thing, because you're at a better level where that can work better. Okay. A tighter, smaller, too much identity that way. I'm going to slow it down. I'm going to interfere with it. Shit, I'm going to stop it. Oh, not me. This is for him, but not me. Oh no, he he did uh, judo when he was a kid. Uh, I, I not me, but him him because he did judo. What well, f are you talking about? <laughs> Come on, this is everybody for everything. 
You want to be a better healer? Boom, do your pattern. You want to be a better puncher? Boom, do your pattern. Better actress? Boom, do your pattern. Nandemo ides. Everything's cool. Okay. See, spiritual people, oh no, uh, you got to sell candles and insects. No, man, sell a secondhand car. Oh, oh, that's not nice, secondhand cards. That's not spiritual. They've just stopped the whole shit from happening with that sp spiritual stupidity, excuse me, but spiritual stupidity, spiritual nonsense. It's here, it's available, it wants to work that way. As you upgrade, it doesn't matter what you started with, it'll become its pure form. <laughs> Even secondhand car sales will have a much better pure form if you do your beats. <laughs> so, uh, so it's not just only those guys because they're Catholic or those guys because they're whatever. Come on already. <laughs> Or a sense would say, you all can do this, you know. Uh, you just got to catch on how it works. <laughs> and you got to work it. When he said keep training, he didn't mean keep doing those damn Nichos. Sorry for you, I get old people. But yeah, keep training the beats. The beats of whatever style of beat you're using, keep training the beats. And if you want to, while you're uh, doing the beat, you want to do a check. Hold it a moment at this level. Let me check my tennis hit. Let me check my techniques. Let me check how I'm doing with two attackers. Let me check by swimming laps and keeping time on it. Or whatever, that's fine. But just as a check, then come back to your interior work. Interior work. Hit another level, you feel pretty good. Okay, pause. And you try all your techniques, whatever they may be. Okay. Uh, did you follow that? Because I, I think I said something cool there. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Anyway. Oh, help, help. I'm starting to feel dispersed. Help me out here. Where the hell are we? Sheehan, Chris here from New Zealand. Hey, you, Chris. Yeah. Hey, just um, exploring more of the what you were saying about the pump. So you would pump the character to help move to to boost up the terrain, or you'd boost up the terrain. Or you pump. I'm, the terrain. I'm sorry. Wait. You you pump to what? I missed that last. Pump the character to. Uh, vitalize the the system to get the uh, the next dimension, or you know, I'm trying to get the next. I guess next level, but that's not quite the wording I want. But you pump the character. Uh, to... uh, a better character. Okay, yeah, following this pattern. Now it doesn't matter. Oh God, am I going to confuse you all? Uh, you can start with. There's a lot of energies. Now. I kind of believe that. Yes, there's a lot of energies, let's say. Okay. Now, in that, who am I? We just did this, this form, but I turned it around the other way. Before I said terrain, terrain, terrain. Now, who are you? Yep. Okay. We could do the other way around in following that is me, me, me. Now, what kind of terrain is there for me? Yeah. How should I function in the world? And I used to joke with people there. I would say, uh, maybe you're supposed to shine shoes. And that is uh, even the first couple of levels been, oh, of course not. Shining shoes is a little demeaning, certainly. Okay, not that shining shoes is demeaning, but you know, uh, uh, that that would be too small in occupation. No, no, I want to open a shoe store, maybe or, or design shoes or something would be more appropriate. So you can come at it either way. I hope I didn't confuse anybody with, with that. No, that's great. You can be a being and check out the terrain, or you can have the terrain and check out the being. Some have preferences. I'm a center type first. Okay. Jack Watt is a circle type first. Okay. Lauren's a circle type first. Uh, um, hmm. 
Jesus says he likes to balance. And I say, fine, that's cool. Now, don't forget those who like balance have a tendency of slacking. Is that the word you use, Tisha? You use a good word, slacking and... Yeah, I think it was something like that. I don't remember exactly what the word was, but it's, it was a good word. <laughs> I'll remember it in just a minute then. <laughs> anyway, because of, of, usually if you're balanced at a fair level, you're superior to everyone else around. Hey, I'm the best in my club. I'm the best in the dojo. I'm the best in the band, whatever. And you tend to, hey, I just... They there being the best in your neighborhood, that kind of thing. Sensei, the word was complacent. Ah, I like that word, complacent. You complacent, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm and that's not... what happens, by the way, it's a good word for the astral plane thing I was trying to talk about. Uh, the terrain of an astral plane can really be nice. Okay. But the ability to move along without that piece. I don't know, however you'd say, who am I at that level? But there'd still be that centered piece. Okay. Uh, will really be interfered with. Really would be doing yourself a disservice. Okay. Uh, throwing shit out. Am, am, am I getting lost here? Where are we? Sensei, this is I just wanted to lean back into the thing that Chris was saying. Um, and he was, uh, I think when he was looking for the word uh, levels, I would probably say something like layers. So levels has this kind of thing like there are major jumps, but inside the, in the terrain, uh, there are actually uh, what I would call uh, la layers. And sometimes they're very fine between uh, one another. Okay, but isn't another word for layer being the next level, the next dimension? The next... Yeah, you, so could, you could certainly overlay them. Yeah. yeah. And I, I was just, uh, I was just. Uh, uh, so you just wanted to give them a different word for the same thing? Yeah, kind of. Okay, he, was, he was looking for layers and uh, or for levels, and I said, you know, maybe maybe layers is a is a way of talking yeah. about it. because we are a community that is a, that is especially in practice. That this is not um, this has some scholarly aspect to it, but it's really based in practice. If we don't practice, I think Justin was saying that too. Uh, Got to be experiential, experiential. Whether, and doesn't mean yeah. And whatever level you're at or zone you're in, mm -hmm. it can be experience. I say, oh, I see. I understand. I'm out of here. You're going to screw up. Yeah. You overlay the, you start to overlay the things that you already know or from a, from a previous um, layer and you start to overlay knowledge into experience that you don't have uh, words for yet. And rather than just be in the experience of that, of that space, of the new terrain, you're already and, trying to figure it out. You're and got to double thing. check because the awareness factor is so predominant, mm. Mm. not just in the, in the states, not just in this dimension. I'm bumping into it with beings in finer dimensions. <laughs> this is an ancient from the beginning problem. This, aware of and missing the experiential of mm, right just it, for whatever reason happened you jumped the gun maybe we all jumped the gun oh wow look at that and that's it and we didn't realize wait aware and an experience and then the combination enters in more properly so something like that we won't go into that because at the beginning of creation and it's beyond our pay scale at the moment, <laughs> but something like, like that heavy preponderance in awareness of. And sure. so as a dimension opens, uh, one of the major ways as the next dimension opens, you're sort of aware of it. Follow me teacher, so you can add or change. 
settle, get to another dimension, and my visual sense of it, oh, it's a bit lighter and brighter as I, and I'm aware of it. Ah, light and bright. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of white things there. Yeah, whatever they are. Yeah. I'm aware of it. I got it. I'm aware of it. Now, the next piece. Okay. Let me experience. And again, let me experience. And again, more. Oh, there, there. I'm starting to feel touched. And my sense experience is starting to really feel touched. Uh, uh, and I think I mentioned before the one to five awareness is pretty fast. Whoa, look at that. Yeah. But to get the experience, I say one to five, which might be one to 10 or one to 20 for God's sakes. But that means this part of experience is a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mean it's dumber. Doesn't mean it's beneath the awareness. It's just different. Mm -hmm. It's just different. And we haven't yet integrated it yet. I think that one of the takeaways from this evening is as the character uh, moves into the new ter terrain, um, the, take, the taking the time in there rather than uh, already knowing what, yes. what this is. Yes. You take the yeah. time to be in it, to soak in it, to... to uh, to kind of listen to it in a certain way without pre-knowing what it what it is or what it has to give you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sort of don't know what it is to feel it for a while. Actually, you got to feel it. You got to soak in it. You got to and there. watch out for that awareness because there's a place. I tried to explain this a little bit uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago or something yeah. with the bathtub. Did I? You yeah. get you see the bathtub and it's steaming. And, oh, I know it's warm, but you haven't sat in the bathtub. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's a mineral bath. You, you haven't gotten any of those minerals. You get a little closer. Oh, you feel the steam and feel the moisture from the steam. Oh, I've experienced it. Not yet, people. Don't be too damn fast there. It's an ancient problem. Mm -hmm. Take your time. Now begin to experience it. You put one toe in the bath. Easy. Oh, I can feel that. Yes, one toe's worth. You continue. Remember, one to five, one to ten, one to twenty, whatever. Easy. Experience. Experience. You start to get, just like going into a hot bathtub. Slow and slow till you're fully there, fully enjoying, fully uh, being affected by the minerals of that tub. Sure. Is that, is that a right way to say it? Yeah, you like that? Way to say it, yeah. 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 Uh, so those of you who are fast with the awareness, yay for you, but come on, you missed the other half. Hard to really move along properly if you keep missing the other half. I don't want to scare you, but in a certain form, it might turn on you a certain bit. And you won't know what the hell it is. Easy, settle, deeper, looks like shit. Easy, settle, deeper. You say, oh, this isn't shit. This is fertilizer. Oh, easy, settle, more. Oh, my God. Nutrients. And you haven't finished. There's more there with that. Uh, once you catch that, it, it won't be able to scare you because if you don't sit on it with and get some experience, uh, you could be all happy and bright and light, and suddenly shit is being thrown at you in great amounts, and you won't know what to do with it. So I'm trying to give you, I don't know, a heads up, a, a bit better how it works, so you don't get confused along the way, really thrown off. Uh, so have some working hmm, practice with, quote, the underworld. Okay. See, not just commies are there. In all of this, in all of it, but hit the under because it's 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 not been approached as full as it could be. Okay. We pay lip service to a bit. Oh, uh, I do I get on, I don't fall over, I'm centered. 
Yeah, okay. Step two. You came into the dojo stumbling a bit. No, you don't stumble as much. You got a little bit of center. You're not finished. So I made jokes at you. Tennis players don't usually fall over. They're centered. Why are you any better than them? Okay, the golfer doesn't swing and collapse. He's kind of centered. What makes you any better than them? So, yeah, but that's just the beginning of this journey of center circle or the, uh, the on growing at the ongoingness of the of the addition sign into finer and finer here and now dimensions. Hi Sensei, it's Mike. Yes, sir, Mike. Um, <laughs> Teacher kind of um, well didn't steal my word, but it was the word it was the word that um I had also come up with in terms of what you've been saying is that it's important that we don't get complacent, that we don't think we've um got it or that we've arrived, or that this is as far as we can go. There is always more. It's a continuing journey, it's an endless journey, basically. Not endless, endless, but yes, in a certain way. It's... Yeah, I don't, I don't mean that in a, I, there's a negative um, yeah. connotation to that. And I don't mean it in that way, but just, yeah. it's a journey that we can't see the final destination. No, yeah, but you get a, a sense uh, of something, you know, it's, I hear it's beautiful. I hear it's like, wow, big time, wow. You can't imagine a wow of it with anything that you've experienced kind of thing. So we have sort of a, you know, returning back to an original right, God, but in its original format kind of thing. So you have some, you've heard some stories about how it might be. You're on the 20 yard, I, I don't know your sports, but you're on the 20 yard line, but you know, there's a goal post. But you practice at the 20 yard line till you get to the 30 yard line. You still know there's a goal post, but that's where you are. And you practice there to get to the whatever. Did you follow that? I thought that was cute. Yeah, no, you're right. Good example. Um, but yeah, the basics are uh, get a good training pattern and train, practice. Yeah, well, Sensei, train. You meant the internal training, internal training. Okay, so whatever form you're going to use and be prepared to change forms. Sometimes you get it. I, I've had forms in the past. I don't remember now. It goes back pretty far historically. But where I have a good pattern and after a year or whatever, uh, suddenly it would like disappear and there'd be another one there that I'd pick up on. But that was my favorite for that year. And I was doing good with that. And there's a little perplexedness when that happened. But now I, I kind of, I don't, again, I don't remember those early years sometimes, but, uh, but, but yeah, it's like, you know, it's like the system saying, nah, do you've done enough of that form. Now it's time to change forms. And a short period of time, I pick up another form and stay with that one for a year or two. And then similar thing would happen to be a different form. Uh, so that used to happen to me. I, I forget all the details. It goes too far back in history, but uh, yeah. So do be prepared for it or purposefully change change the form sometimes. You, you know, uh, you know, do your chanting form on Mondays and your centered pump whatever form on Tuesdays and go back to chanting on Wednesdays and you know whatever it's, it's your basic training even in bodybuilding we don't work the same muscle all the time with the same exercise it gets kind of stale so you change it and you get a bar where your hands are turned out a bit more and then you curl this little change affects the bicep a bit different okay then you don't do barbell, you do two dumbbells and you do them sitting instead of standing. All right. <laughs> and on and on and on. 
It's kind of, if you've ever trained, it's kind of basic training. <laughs> okay. So find a pattern and train. <clears throat> we did the chanting one with the center circle. No, we used, uh, yeah, yeah. We did two sounds. Ah, uh, your call. <clears throat> ah to the O. O responds back to the ah. Better centered. Aing. O responds better because it's a partner. It responds better with O. You can take a pause and say, okay, let me check myself out here. It's a centered character plant. Ha, check yourself out. Fine. Now, again, continuing. A ah to the O and O to the A. Ah. That's your practice pattern. So practice. Not two minutes. Practice. If you're really interested, you'll find periods of time where you can stay with it for a while. Whatever a while. It's half an hour, an hour. Okay. Uh, now and then, no, I don't want to get into that. Do I? Now and then in Tokyo, uh, I would take uh, a whole day plus, we're talking 12 hours, whatever, and sit and just, I what I was doing, just sitting. Just my basic meditation, but just going long term with it, continuing long term with that thing. Uh, not not something I'd want to do every weekend. Uh, uh, my wife wouldn't have cared that much for it. Uh, but uh, now and then, yeah, it was it was it was it was kind of interesting. Kind of, I got something out of it. Okay. Uh, anyway, blah blah blah. Oh my God, we ate up our time. Really? Where's it go? Well, thank you for hanging out. Any last quickies? Because we ate up time. Anything? Autumn, how are you doing? Good, dealing with some nutrients. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I think, uh, I have a kind of a question, but I'm still formulating it. So be patient with me. The, the character is, is it emerges when it's clear enough, right? And the, what emerges? the character emerges. Oh, when Kurt, Kurt. Yeah. The eye is clear enough when the terrain. Easy is the clear. eye. Yeah, easy the eye. Yeah. Uh, then, if you got a tight eye, you can't get a new character because you're already pregnant. You can't get pregnant. It's a dumb story I used to throw out. It's brilliant if people feel it out. If you're pregnant, you can't get pregnant. They're already impregnated themselves with a, a lesser eye. So nothing can happen. Okay. Yes, I'm sorry. Go ahead. And then the, the nutrients that come in, I guess I'm wondering how to how to really how do you know when they've been fully absorbed is that when you're testing it with your hand or is that when you uh, well fully absorbed uh, say full at that level but now if you want to go another dimensional level there's fuller at that level uh, uh, bobby absorbs let's say 10 pounds in fact we use 10 20 30 pounder Bobby's a 10 pounder. If he absorbs 10 pounds, he's a full Bobby. He's still a Bobby, but he's Bobby at Bobby's best. If he trades in easy, does a pattern, then there's Robert, who's a 20 pounder, and there's nourishment there to fully nourish a 20 pounder. <laughs> so it's, it's kind of comes up. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Ah, okay, people. Time. Thank you. Thank you for hanging out. I hope you got something out of that one. <laughs> uh, anyway, just don't confuse the terrain with the whole picture. Terrain's nice, beautiful. Your dimension and vibes finer. Beautiful. You're not finished. There's something more to be done there. Okay.
Uh -huh. right. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah.